Are you tired of spending hours creating estimates for your business only to realize later that you missed important details that could potentially cost you money? Well, Housecall Pro recently released a new feature that allows you to make templates of your estimates. In this video, I'll show you how utilizing these estimate templates can revolutionize your workflow, saving you valuable time and ensuring accurate estimates on every project. If you haven't seen my other video on getting started with Housecall Pro, click up in the top corner. Otherwise, let's jump in. All right, so we are logged into Housecall Pro, and I wanna show you where the estimate templates live within the app. So you go over to price book and you scroll down and they're right there. So we're gonna start off building uh, a template from scratch and then I'll also show you where you can access the templates. When you're creating an estimate, you can save that estimate as a template. So to start off here, we're going to create a new estimate template um, and as you can see, Housecall Pro provides a couple examples that you can use. You can't create an estimate template without at least one category. So we'll jump into repair and uh, we'll add our own template. So this is what the templates look like. Uh, you want to name your template so that's easier for you to find. And then scrolling down in this field, the options field, you can enter um, some information that your customer will be able to see. For example, uh, like if this is your, your best estimate, your best offer, you can write that here. Um, now, just to note, I'm on the basic version of Housecall Pro and I don't have the sales proposal 2.0 add-on, uh, which is something that you can pay an additional monthly cost for and you get access to more options like you can add photos and detailed descriptions and you can present the estimate in like a good, better, best um, <clears throat> case so that the, the customer can choose between different price points. But I'm just showing you the basics here. So continuing on, we have services. Now, um, you can pull services directly from your price book and there is a synchronization between the price book line items and your estimate template. Now, to note, if you edit any of the information uh, in the line item that you pulled from your, your price book, that change won't be reflected back in the price book. So if you update the price or the name description, um, that won't change. However, you can update the quantity. That's the only thing that will not break the synchronization. Um, so that's that's important to note. If you do intend to edit any of these line items, you want to do it in the price book first. And then just as you would build your normal estimate, you can add services, continue to add more services and materials. You can add a, say, a new customer discount, and you can add your tax rate as well. So we'll add a new customer discount. And we'll go ahead, name this. TV mounting. And we'll do option one. And we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so we've created our template here. Now, just as you can in the price book section, you can edit these templates uh, in the future. You can reorder them and you can move the location to a different category. And you can create as many categories as you need to. So there's a lot of functionality. So now let's go over to an existing estimate and we'll create an estimate template that way. So we'll do that by clicking new and estimate. We'll do save estimate. All right, so we created a new estimate here and we'll just add some line items. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go up to option number one here. I'm gonna click these three dots and I'm gonna save this as a template. We'll name it as basic handyman. And we have to select the location in our price book. In this case, the categories that we've created in the estimate template area. Um, so we'll do this in uh, repair 
and our, our option is option number one. And something to note, if you choose to change this option name, it'll only update the name, the option name of the template. It won't uh, change the option name of the original estimate here. It won't change this. And then you can go see it here as well. Kind of a quick link. And there it is. And again, we can edit it. We can reorder it move the location or delete it. Hopefully you can use this feature to streamline your estimating process and eliminate potential errors, which will save you money. I've been integrating this into my business and it's been a game changer. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, take care and be well.